Hey there Spartans, welcome back to Halo Cannon, and welcome back to the last time I'm ever going to exclusively say, welcome back Spartans. Probably. As we edge closer to the launch of the Master Chief Collection, now is a pretty good time to talk about these terminal prologues that were released last week. So let's take a look. Our first terminal starts during the Battle of Meridian in 2551. Fun fact, Meridian was first mentioned in Dr. Halsey's journal. Thumbs up to 343 for not making up a new colony. A couple of Sanghili and a Jackal use a new piece of Covenant technology, a Kinsler, to scan some caves. As I'm sure we all know, many aspects of Halo were borrowed from the Alien franchise. 343 continues that proud tradition by ripping off Prometheus. Joking aside, the Sanghili find a Luminary and it's actually pretty cool to finally see one of these things. The Luminary is brought to the Prophet of Regret who notes that this one is special. Fast forward to 2552, not long before the events of Halo 2, and the Luminary secrets have been unlocked. And now we get to the best part about this terminal. We finally know how Regret found Earth, but not that it was humanity's homeworld. And we know how he discovered the location of Installation 05. The special luminary gives the location of all the Halo rings and the portal to the Ark, while leaving out the key detail that Earth, called Erde Tyrene, is humanity's homeworld. Of course, Regret, the fervor and zealot that he is, orders his fleet straight to Earth, and we know what happens after that. The second terminal brings us to the Borneo Space Tether. Fred 104 and Linda 058 are heading to talk with Oni following the events of Halo First Strike. And dear God, why the hell are they wearing Gen 2 Mjolnir? No, 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 don't, don't tell me. It's to avoid confusing the new fans. Never mind angering the old fans. And it's also kind of insulting to think that fans are so freaking stupid that they can't figure out that Spartans change their armor now and again. Hell, you do it all the time in multiplayer. Also, where the hell is Will? Ah, yes. Don't want to confuse those new fans. God forbid they have to do a Google search. Anyway, Fred and Kelly meet with Oni, the chief of course busy with his photo op on Cairo Station. They review the discovery and subsequent destruction of Unyielding Hierophant, another thing that's really awesome to see, and its fleet. We then jump to a scanning station near Io, all seeming to be fine until a probe detects a Covenant ship incoming. And then the fleet appears. So, those are the terminals. I have some minor grievances with the appearances of Fred and Linda, but overall they're exciting to watch. Moreover, I cannot wait to actually view the terminals in the Master Chief Collection. It's no secret that I was extremely disappointed that the terminals would be focusing almost exclusively on the Arbiter. However, with these, I'm glad we got a few answers to some lingering questions concerning the story of Halo 2. Well, that's it for this episode. Now, get the hell off the internet and get ready for the Master Chief Collection. No, no I, I'm serious, go. Bye. Bye-bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching.